So could be quick. I think Jod definitely the favorite here. Yeah, for sure. But last I think the last Phoenix has had a really, really good run today. Um definitely putting in the work and then pulling out some good stuff. Round yeah, it's kind of like the other uh, Napalm. Fight. The other just new player in the top eight. Yeah. Here they, here they are in the top four. Good stuff. Oh, the empty dash is in. Jod feeling himself for sure. Wow. Just down 4 2 1, just out of nowhere. No break on the throw. Okay. Mm. That's really hard to do, that combo. From the side step 1 plus 2. Wow, Ooh. Phoenix right under it. Alright. Good though, Perry. Can't drop this one here. Yeah, that's the thing about nice. Nini. You can't stay on the ground for too long. So many of her moves hit you on the ground. Yeah. yeah. Punish. Ooh. Bit of impatience over there. Bro. Yeah. That was beautiful wall carry as well. Oh, good break. Mmm, solid. Oh, no punish. Oh, that's Oh, let's go take it. Yeah. Nice. Round four. John, not out of it yet. Oh, good low parry. Oh, reset. Reset. <laughs> Shades of Tag 2, I guess. Direction from Ling is too wow. good. Next to no poke. You win. They finally given her some good lows to use. Yeah, yeah. I love resets like that. That, that was so cool. Like for for all the like for how toxic Oki can be and the, the little time I spent on tag two playing people way better than me has proven that Oki is incredibly toxic. I do like seeing it, and it is such a cool concept, especially in Tekken. Yep. Yeah, it's just that extra layer of mind games. It's like, when do I get up? Should I stay on the floor or tech roll? Yeah, it's that extra layer, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Especially, like, um, tag games in DR. Uh, just not having a safe wake-up option. Just complete, like, you actually have to genuinely spend time considering like what are you gonna do how are you gonna get up what are the what are the options the opponent can do um on your wake up what are you gonna be aware of it's yeah it's 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 a whole whole another layer it's pretty cool all right let's see if jod can make some adjustments it's not a matchup you see very often so i'm not really i'm kind of learning as well as i'm watching these guys play Definitely seems like Link can, can get away with a lot of stuff just like she can with most characters in the game, so. Yeah. Link's pretty much the same. Just got that AOP. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Just always hard to hit her. It's people who've been playing her for a long time know how to use the other stuff too. Yeah. Like the ro turn away and the sidestep from back turn and stuff. Like, that's, all the, that's also super tricky that you got to consider as well. To the forgotten realm. Who benefits from this stage, do you think? More. Uh maybe Nina. I was gonna say I was gonna say Ling at first. Like the you know the weird hop kick thing she has where she slams you in the ground. 
Oh, what, from AOP? Yeah, because yeah. now that's a launch. And so uh, it's a tool that uh, Last Games has been using a few Ooh, times. Well, Nina's got a throw that just breaks right through. <laughs> yeah. Which is definitely a bit better. Big lead. Oh, nice back one. Shutting it down. KO. Round two. Fight. Ooh. Oh. Sized up. I was a beautiful way punish on that as well. Job playing patient, not overextending too much. Mm -hmm. Trying to work his way back into the match. Oh, there you go, just going with the counter here. Yeah, you see, he's staying at a certain range where things won't just clip him randomly and then just picking his shots carefully. Good, yeah. <laughs> not really any other option out of that, so just duck. Three quick rounds here. That looked all guaranteed. Okay, good punish. Go all the way downstairs. Breaking the Break. plus two. Whoa, that was a clean side step into a launch. That's to the wall. Not gonna kill. Oh, now he is. Now, <laughs> there it is. Yeah, one one here. Still just first to two. So, I'm going up in the last game. Got uh, you know, steps on his crabs right at the end. That's uh, that's a bit rude. So I thought we see more of from Jod, just like hitting those combos and playing pretty pretty fluid. Yeah. And the last Phoenix, maybe. You know, people are catching on to some of the things that he's doing, like going for that wall bounce and stuff like that. Yeah, and the winner yeah, of this will still have to play Napalm as he's waiting in losers finals. You might get that Napalm, the last Phoenix uh, rematch from the winners, winners side top eight. That was a pretty good match. Yeah. Actually. yeah. Anyway, <laughs> but I think right now Tetsu is definitely the favorite to win the tournament. He's the only guy really who's been in this spot before. Yeah. Except for Jod. If Jod goes out, then he's definitely a favorite for Tetsu. 100%. I mean, you know, he's like like you mentioned before, um, travels a lot. He's got that experience. Even though he's he's still a fairly uh, fairly young player, he's um, solid, super solid. All that experience stacks up, and uh, when uh, when the pressure is high, he steps up to the plate. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> Super consistent as well, especially in the ICFC. He's always around these top eights, isn't he? So yeah, he actually uh, outperformed his the guy that everybody thinks is the best in the country, Sefi. He uh, made it out of his group at the little regional qualifiers thingy, and uh, Sefi did it. So mm. that was pretty crazy to see. They were in the same group actually, so kind of made it tough for both of them to make it out actually but this stuff's a tetsu he's definitely the younger of the two the more new generation type guy Round one. eu in good hands man Fight. a lot of good new talent coming out of there yeah most definitely right, here's the last game last phoenix Jod. Very good interrupt as well to add the advantage on throw break. Oh, again with that magic oh. fool. Okay. Kind of adjusted the combo because he realized that he used the uh, tail spin with the move that broke the balcony. Didn't need to, but the fact that he did kind of influence his combo. Oh, can he can he block? Will it work? Oh yeah, yeah, he can block. Good thing he didn't commit to anything. Oh, 
Oh, again, that magic mm. four. That's like the third one now. Definitely paying dividends. Paying the scissors as well. Oh, oh wow. Oh, shenanigans. Dominant round right there. It's going round great three. for Xiao Yu. Wow, no break. Actually, a true throw. So it's 50 50 on that. Oh, one. it's actually a real 50 50. Yeah, when she does the hop and throw. Oh, you okay. They kept that at least for the Xiaoyu people. Yeah, yeah. I mean, to be honest, it's so slow. You could just duck it if you're already sharp. Yeah. So. That's the one option that you're supposed to do. It's so easy to do, but nobody thinks about it. Yeah. Until they get hit with it twice. <laughs> and they start ducking it. Y'all try to stay alive? Can he do it? Yes, he can. Round Stays alive. Fight. Oh, mm. down for two. Might push it to the final round. Good punish. Good punish. Oh, no bluff on the low. Joe looking to take this round to final round. Yeah, yeah, just want to do basic down uh, down forward ones. Pretty much had like a full life bar. Yeah. Now we're in the final final round. Oh, nice mm. low parry. Try some tricks. Yeah, he's aware of those strings. Oh, AOP. It's gonna be to the wall. Couldn't really get a full combo. A little bit off axis, wasn't it? Mm. Oh, oh could he? Yeah, he could have got a tailspin from that. Yeah, oh, combo's so hard to hit. Maybe he surprised himself. But this might be it. Uh, again, that's the again. finisher. That's the finisher that he likes. Yeah. Last place. Probably was when people died.